Welcome back guys. Okay, so in this video I want to talk about our computer programming page, but I also want to talk about widgets in WordPress. And this is a widget right here. It is a auto-populated um, kind of little sidebar of content that we control in our back end of our WordPress. And if I click on home right here, we have three more widgets down here. And we could take these off or we could utilize these widgets to express more of our website, express more content. So what I want to do is I want to focus on our computer programming page first. And for widgets, we don't go to pages right here, but we go to appearance and let's click on widgets. Okay, so for our main sidebar, what do we have right here? I believe that this right here is our right sidebar and there's only one way to test. So I'm going to grab this text widget right here. And again, this is all the available kind of auto-populated stuff. We could add our recent posts, so we could add our pages again. We could add another, uh, we could add our links, our meta information, users, a calendar. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add text to our widget and see if this works. Let's type, this should work. Please work. Let's go ahead and save this. Save it. Okay, now let's go back to our front end. This should work. Okay, please work. But we can also add pictures to these widgets. So what I want to do is for our computer programming page, I want to put my Village Park source link right here. This is Village Park University. I'm going to go ahead and grab that, drag it to the desktop. And to upload that, you could do it through posts or page. I'm just going to do it through post. I'm not actually going to create a post. I'm just going to upload this picture to my WordPress folder without having to hard code it. So I'm going to type in new post. And let's type in, or we'll add the image. We'll add villagepark.png. Click there, Village Park, link URL. Yes. And I'll set it to www.villageparksource.com. Whatever. Okay. And let's insert it into post as full size. Now, this is successfully uh, uploaded to our WordPress file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab just the image. I don't need the link tag. Actually, I do want the link tag. That's why I typed in villageparksource.com. And let's copy that. Let's go back to our widget now. Uh, leave page, that's fine. Right sidebar. This should work. We'll call this free tutorials and just like this we can page our, paste our raw HTML just like that now let's save it and we can go ahead and reload it and there it is but the CSS is off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here class text align I'm gonna take all this out we don't need that and up to there let's save it let's reload it now there it is, okay. I can even go back in further and uh, delete the CSS right here, but I kinda like that, it's computer programming. So this is an advertisement. You could put an advertisement here. You could put anything here. So let's click on that. It, nope, shouldn't work, it does not work. You know why? Because we have to type in HTTP forward slash yada yada. That should work. Let's go ahead and back it up a track. Let's click it again. Nope, okay, what are we doing wrong? I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, this should work. Take off the www right there. Just have it be http colon forward slash and whatever link you decide to use. Click save. Let's go back to our website, computer programming. Now reload this page. Now let's click on it. There it is. Okay, so we have a link in our widget and uh, our computer programming page is looking a lot better. And we could it doesn't have to be that size. We could change it. We could have three or four of these um, advertisements or whatever we'd like. In the next video, let's go ahead and create some content right here. So good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.